All right. Good morning. Welcome to the Howard Stern Show. Good morning, Robin. Good morning. What's going on today? Not much. No? No. There's a little problem with Howard. He's in the back. He's not coming in, so I'm taking over the show today. Oh, really? You, yeah. I, I didn't know whether you were trying to be Howard or you were... No, just trying to be me. Just trying Howard. to be me. Well, just... say you're Steve Grillo. Well, it's the Howard Stern Show with Steve Grillo. How's that? <laughs> Well, what have you got to say now you're taking over the show? Well, I figure we get to some news. How's that? Want to jump right in the news? <laughs> no, you're supposed to have some kind of opening statement if you're going to statement? take over the show. He is so uncharismatic. <laughs> I'm bald and stupid. How's that? All right. Thank you, Steve. Little... Uh, no, I, <laughs> Why? 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 If you're going to take Why? over the show, how about doing some news? I said, hey, Steve, I'll give you an opportunity. You've been an intern here for 10 years. You go in and take over. Start off. Hey, Howard's not here today. The Steve Gorilla Show. Go ahead, show me what you're going to do. Wow. Hello, everybody. Here's the news. <laughs> the news? Hello, everybody. Here's the news. Here's the news with Robin Gibbs. I've been waiting for this opportunity. Let me shut up. Here's the news with Robin Gibbs. All right, Steve. Nice job. Thank you. Hey, you were very good. You very com you took a good command of the uh, of the microphone, and you really took over. Thank you. He Anybody? claimed that he did a little show over there at Hunter College, and he was controversial. Oh, was he? I was started a riot in the cafeteria. Let me get this straight. When you were, well, you're still at Hunter, right? Yeah. Okay. So you started a radio program over there. I they have a, a really minuscule radio. A mini school. Mini school. Mini school. Mini school. It's it's really tiny, and I'm I, confident that Steve will continue to be a loser in 1995. Wow. <laughs> So anyway, so you became the disc jockey over there. Yeah, I had do? a little radio show. Did you I, spin records I, or I, you just I talk? Hated, I hated playing music. You don't like playing music. You no. don't like doing that. So it was at the time where... You like to talk. You like to do like the, what I do. Yeah, it was right, at the yeah. time where Giuliani was and, and Dinkins were, you know, going back and forth. And I think it was the actual day that Giuliani won. Okay. So I, I went on the air. And I said, it's, it's, you know, it's a real shame. I said, I come from a very white, trash, Italian neighborhood. I said, and there was a slogan going around in my neighborhood that said, vote for Julie, not the Mooley. I said, and I, I just, I was just stating it. And all of a sudden, like nobody ever listens to the, the radio in the cafeteria. Suddenly, the phone rang, so I picked it up. And it was some black girl going, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? I went... Nothing. I was just stating what the people in my neighborhood say. That's bull. That's bull. That's bull. That's bull. And then all of a sudden, I heard everybody in the background screaming, "Get off the air, you white trash piece of crap!" And then, then everybody started freaking out. And, and then the program director what a came. Story. The program director came and shut the radio off. Shut the whole, all the power down to the whole radio station. Was what are you doing? I had to stop all these black guys from coming up here and kicking your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, but nobody had listened to, to anything I said. They just heard like Mooley, and they went well, nuts. Oh, Mooley. Vote, vote for Julie, not the Mooley, was better than my other one. Go figure. Who's voting for the nigger? <laughs> that was my other one. <laughs> I'm going to burn down the station then. Who are you? You, 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 have such, you have no presence whatsoever on the radio. You tell a story, I'm, I'm asleep. <laughs> okay. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> Can you imagine that radio show? Where is the tape of that show? Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't, there's no, way, there's no way of taping my radio show. I wish no I, 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 I could have taped it. They didn't have taping uh -huh. facilities inside the radio no, studio. Nothing. I would have had to get a radio and tune into the little tiny weak signal that they had, which yeah. you can't even get inside the radio station. So how did all these black people get it? Because it's just it's, thing, it's broadcast into the cafeteria. So in other words, it. when you do your radio show at college... It's like, almost like a PA. It's like a PA. You're really broadcasting into the cafeteria. Yeah, but there is a tiny, <laughs> small signal that reaches, like, maybe out in front of the school if you stand in the right, like, area. That's it. Basically a deli counter with music. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's some radio station. Oh, it's horrible. All right. All right. Thank you, Gorilla. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. There he is, Steve Gorilla, who uh, does his own controversial radio program <laughs> over at Hunter College, if you'd like to tune in for yeah, that. Yeah, you got to try to find him. Yeah, what you do today is you tune in in front of the school. If you could park directly in front of Hunter College, you'll hear the Steve Gorilla show. Hoo-ha, wah hoo ha So I got on the air, and then all the blacks was calling up and saying, What's the matter with you, you white twigs? I, 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 I just made a statement. I just made a statement. I did. I like that. I just made a statement. All I did was state that it was said. I wasn't, I wasn't saying it. I was dating it. You <laughs> see, I was just reporting on what was happening in my neighborhood. You see, it's not a personal thing. You had to hear. Well, there was a statement <laughs> in my neighborhood. That's right. <laughs> And they called up and said, you white bees dredge, you white bees, white, white bees of dredge, you white bees of dredge, grab, <laughs> bastard. 
all I did was go on the radio. I don't like to play music, so I try to say about Giuliani and the Dingens. Uh, yes. Dingens. Dingens. I hate playing Dingens. the music. Dingens. Dingens. So then Dingens and uh, Giuliani, it was the day that Giuliani won, and ah, Dingens had lost, and they went on yes. and said in my neighborhood, they did the mooly. Vote, vote for Julie, not the mooly. <laughs> so then the, then, the, then the black girl called up and go, you stop it. What the heck? What, what are you doing, you white bees? White bees, drag your grab. That's you bull. Want, that's, that's bull. <laughs> that's bull. That's not even Drew. That's not even Drew. I, I hate playing records. I hate. I hate playing like a three-year-old. Now. What did that? Why? Because you sound like a three-year-old. That's bull. A gorilla. I hate playing records because my hair falls on the vinyl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I believe that gorilla is on his way. I believe he's on his way back to the office to get me breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gabriela. But that's how you dog. You do dog it with a new... Oh, a little bit. You yeah. got a very thick accent. Uh. I just well, thought I would come forth. I thought I would come forth and share this with you. <laughs> and, and I talk out of... I don't breathe out of my nose. I don't so. breathe out of my nose. I don't breathe out of my nose. <laughs> I don't breathe out of my nose. I don't breathe out of my nose. I don't breathe out of my nose. Ha! Ooh, ha! 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 <laughs> he just did ha-ha twice and he says, I didn't do it. I didn't do it that time. What are you talking about? I didn't do that. Play commercials, right? Come on. Go back and listen to the tape and listen to yourself go, ha-ha. <laughs> I, I guess it's totally unconscious. See, I totally. did it again and I don't, ha-ha. I didn't even know I did that. Totally, totally, totally unconscious. Totally unconscious. That was totally. I think you're totally unconscious. That was totally unconscious. Totally. Yeah. All right, very good, Gorilla. Go ahead. You're done now. Sure now. Yeah, go back and do your duty. All right. All right. Anyway, uh, that was the Steve Gorilla Hour. <laughs> we got to take a break. We'll start the show right after these words.